Leonardo da Vinci, Rembrandt, Vincent van Gogh, Pablo Picasso. These icons are known as masters of high art. Their work towers above others, but in reality, their work is absolute trash. Complete and utter dog shit when compared to the work of the preeminent artist of our time, Hunter Biden. Hunter, like most artists, has substance problems and was sent to rehab to deal with this. And while he was in rehab, he had a whole ass renaissance. He took up painting and now these paintings, for some reason, are being priced at $75,000 to $500,000. Let us behold these fucking masterpieces. Alright, now this painting is said to be a representation of the many coke rocks that have fallen out of Hunter Biden's nose. It's reported he painted this piece with his own cum and hooker's blood. $85,000. This piece here is one of Hunter Biden's earlier works. He actually created this on MS Paint on that laptop that Rudy Giuliani uh, found at the pawn shop. Since this is one of Hunter's early works, uh, the price on this one is a little steeper. A hundred thousand dollars. Haha, this one. Now, what people don't know about Hunter Biden is that he's a bit of a romantic. He's been in many trysts and has had his fair share of affairs. Hunter knows what he likes in a woman, and he also knows what he doesn't. And you can see that here in this piece, evidenced by the use of colors on the disembodied person and the Japanese flag that serves as the sky. This painting is all about personal taste, and that is reflected in its title. No yellow, $500,000. This painting is inspired by a trip Hunter Biden took to Ukraine. There, he took DMT with a Burisma executive. Uh, amazingly, uh, TikTok star Hezbollah Magomedov was also there at the uh, DMT sesh, and there, Hunter Biden actually promised him uh, the position of Secretary of Agriculture if his father won the presidency in 2020. You can really see in this piece the, uh, the many dimensions Hunter Biden traveled through during his uh, experience with DMT and it also represents the fracturous falling out he had with Hezbollah after Hunter told him he was unfortunately not going to be made Secretary of Agriculture. How much does this painting go for? the entire island of Cuba. Now, for all of you talentless people who studied and practiced art in school or on your own and are jelly of Hunter's newfound success, and for those of you who may also have substance and mental health issues and can't afford to go to rehab, I, the White House, and the rest of the country have a message for you. Fuck you. Go fuck yourself. I have no sympathy for you. Get good, bitch. Hunter did it. Don't hate just because you're not as gifted as little Hunter, this little prodigy, and especially don't hate because your dad's name isn't Sleepy Joe. And you know what? To those of you who are taking pot shots at Hunter Biden, it just isn't right to come after the president's children. It's just so tacky. Leave him alone. The kid is only 51 years old for God's sake. He can do whatever he sets his mind to, and if the little scamp wants to try some finger painting, then by all means, let him. Let him make it and then sell it in an incredibly shady way for a small fortune. Alright, don't get me wrong. We all thought these guys were goofy. And they are. They're goofy as fuck. But Hunter Biden is a one-man band. 